to go to the other one and it wasn't on <laughs> yeah so, so um, we've now driven to one that we we know is on well we can see it it's it's not quite started yet but people are arriving and setting up so yeah that was interesting yeah nice sunday drive yeah a <laughs> bit of a waste of time anyway we will go to this one uh, we're only going to do the one now today because we're we are going out to see family so we've got to crack on pretty quick yep so we'll see what we get here. Hatfield boot sale and uh, managed to fill our two trolleys twice. <laughs> I'm looking rather so, um, windswept and interesting. Yeah that's why I'm wearing a hat. I've got all my hair up in my hat so because <laughs> otherwise it all flies around my face. Um, yeah we saw Chelsea. Yeah. Lovely to meet you again mate. Yeah and I missed you. I <laughs> have, a, have yet to meet you. I was um, too busy looking at clothes and stuff. So we thought we would probably tag um, a bit of a haul onto the end of this. Um, yeah, I, I bought a mountain of board games. Yeah, loads of really good ones. Uh, found, shall I say, one particularly nice one. Not Hero Quest, but another one that's yeah. rather lovely. You'll find out in the haul. <laughs> and I took a punt on a load that I'd never seen before. Well, a few that I'd never seen before, yeah. but they look vintage, so yeah. And you, you went a bit mad on clothing again. I didn't go mad, but yeah, I did buy some clothes. Considering how much you've got at home. I know. Well, he tells me off every <laughs> single time I buy anything. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're in a mad rush now because we've got to drive all the way to Milton Keynes. We're going to see uh, yeah, Andrew's dad. Yeah, going to see my dad for the afternoon. So I'm not sure if the chat's going to be on time tonight. We'll see how time goes, but we'll let you, well, you'll, you'll have had that by the time you've seen this, because this will go up afterwards. But um, yeah, we'll sign off now because I'll start getting wobbly as we get back on the motorway and we'll do a haul and yeah, see you in a minute. Hello, right, we've 
we've been home, we've unpacked all the junk, we've hopped in the shower, and we're now back on the motorway, but now we're going north to um, the land of the roundabout, otherwise known as Milton Keynes. Yeah. All right, we're currently having a photograph session. Oh, say, say hi guys over here quick. Hi guys. Hi. I look here because we're um, taking a photo. Yeah. Tell, us, tell us where you are. Um, no, we're in a place. Thing. I don't know. Well, I don't even know what it's called. Actually, it's we're in a lovely, oh, yeah. lovely Indian restaurant. Like and look at a really nice meal off way. Helen has a pour mush. They've had ch an Indian before. I nearly said a Chinese. Which yours? Which yours? Nice. <laughs> it was lovely. No, it was awful. I had a Dal sandwich, which was really nice. And Ellen had a Dal sandwich. And you made the biggest mess in the world. Andrea. So how was your dinner? Loved it, very nice. Spiffy. Spiffy, yeah. Absolutely spiffy. It was better because I didn't have to cook it. And I didn't have to wash it. And I didn't have to pay for it. And I'm the one that's got to pay for it. <laughs> Sad day for you, isn't it? Sad day. Put this out to the moss collection, you know. <laughs> Hi guys, so it is Monday um, and we're going to do that haul that we promised. Um, we had a really good day yesterday, a really nice afternoon with my dad. Went out for an Indian meal, which was, well, I can't recommend it higher really. The staff there were really friendly, couldn't do more for you, and the food was amazing, so yeah, yeah we had a really good time. Um, so yeah, we're so going to yeah. share some of the sh stuff we did share in our live stream on Sunday, but we didn't have a whole lot of information because we literally got home from the boot sale, went out to Milton Keynes, drove back and went live. Now we've had a chance to look it up so we'll be a bit more accurate with what we expect to get back on it. So that's the yep. plan. So you've got a load of clothes. I've got some clothes. I've got a lot of the bits I shared last night and a few extra bits that we didn't have time to show you last night. So, shall I start with some stuff and then you do some clothes? Yeah, if you like. Okay, we didn't show these last night. Um, these are willow tree figures. Um, now, we know about these because Andrea has a, a collection. I buy Andrea them for, not all the time, but like no. birthdays, anniversaries, that sort of thing. Uh, they do a whole big range. They're kind of resin, aren't they? Yeah. Um, yeah really nice hard. things. And a lady had a few. She had them priced at ten pounds each uh, there's four of them so these were ten pounds each well that's what she had some pr them priced at excuse me and I think that was on at seven and this at eight but I got everything for fifteen um, it's not great to be honest not as good as I'd hoped yeah. but I'm gonna look for on anniversary to get about fifteen to twenty pounds so that should be my investment back. Yeah, that's uh, really cute. The brothers, this one's called Brothers. Uh, I'll look for about 15. This one I thought would be more, but I think it's quite a common one. It's just called Love, and that's about ten pounds. And the little trinket box, yeah, not really sought after. You might get a fiver. I think people collect the figures rather than yeah. other stuff. So I'd hope to get £45 back from my £15, but it's one of those, we, we knew something about it, we knew they were collected, so we went for it. But not as good as I'd hoped. Should I do the plumbing stuff quick and then you start on that? Yeah, can do. Uh, the plumbing bits I shared yesterday in the live hall, yeah, I've had a chance to look up them up in more detail now. The, the U-bends that I ended up with, because they were just chucked in as part of the whole thing, I'll get pretty much my, I spent £45 on a job lot of plumbing, a negotiated with a bloke at a car boot sale, if you didn't see the live hangout. It included loads of stuff that I'm going to show you, and these were kind of chucked in, a big box of U-bends and stuff. I reckon just on these I'll get about £40 plus back, so that's most of my investment on the stuff that I wasn't really that bothered about. Then there's, I don't know how many kilos of copper fittings. This is an easy £100, probably near 150 of those. There's 170 copper fittings in there. 
and there's another big bag full of brass fittings which was 95 brass fittings which is another easy hundred pounds that's a pretty low estimate and then there was the central heating parts this Honeywell it's like a, <laughs> what is it it's a programmer for a central heating system uh, I'm going to shoot for 50 on that uh, this is going on completed and sold lot items uh, this valve, which I've sold one of these before, uh, motorised valve, I'm going to go for 40. Uh, this I think I showed and I, I guessed the price last night and it was way beyond what it actually is. This is just a thermostat, only worth about 10. And then two of these little programmable thermostats, these Danfoss ones. They're all brand new, the packaging is just a bit worn from storage. Uh, they're going to be 40 each. So I don't know what that is off the top of my head. A couple of hundred for the fittings, 40, so 240, 250, plus 83, 30, 380, 400 plus. So I will hope to get 400 back. Very good. I think if I added that up right, yeah. from a 45 pounds investment, and hopefully the guy is gonna get some more stuff for me as well. If I managed to meet him, I wish I'd taken his number now. Yeah, that would have been good. Yeah. I'd have dealt with him directly then. Anyway, I'll see him again, hopefully. Yeah, hope so. So, what have you got? Okay, well, I've got a fair amount of clothing. Um, I bought oh these. I'll start with some stuff we bought in the charity shop the other day. This is a fat face, like sleeveless cardigan. Um, it's got like a drawstring tie thing in the middle. It is fat face and I paid pound on that one. Um, looking to get 9 99 for that. Um, these are all with shipping on top? Yes, everything with shipping on top. And then these are Banana Republic trousers. You can see. Do you want me to lean forward because you, you creak? I know, my chair creaks. You, it's not you, me. <laughs> you're getting old and creaky. <laughs> yeah, I paid a pound for those and can going to try for 9 99 back on them. They're just a small size, so yeah, just go for an average price. These ones are really good. Um, these are brand new with tag. They are Etnia, and um, you may have seen them in sort of magazines and stuff. Some of the celebrities have been wearing Etnia. Um, oh, there's a price on there of 70 quid. Yeah. It's handwritten, though. So I'm going to try for about 50. Um, I might need to drop it if it doesn't sell, but... That's the brand. I'm going to try for that. Try for what? I'm going to try for about 50. Really? And they were in the charity shop? They are in the charity shop for a pound. Reduced from eight? Yeah. I'd wow. have probably bought them at eight, to be honest. Really? Wow. <laughs> yeah, but would you have thought to look them up and gone for it? Or, or did I'd you probably just... looked them up in the shop. They're kind of like floral. Yeah. Floral? Yeah, they're really silky. <laughs> floral, I mean. Yeah. They look a bit hippie-ish to me, yeah. like like tie-dye, flary. <laughs> for what? In my face. I'll let you do the talking about Claire. <laughs> I just make stuff up. Hippie and florally, yes, all those things. Quite silky. So yeah, have a look out for that brand if you ever see it. Um, it's worth picking up. Um, quite trendy among celebrities. Um, Beyonce's sister's been wearing it recently. Beyonce's sister. Yeah. Is she the crazy one that beats people up in lifts? <laughs> yeah. That's all I know about her. Okay, yeah. what you got? Go on, you talk, I'll, um, I'll show you. Right, this is Red Herring. Um, size 16, I think. So I'm going to try 7 99 to 9 99 for that. It's just a little floral top. And these were all a pound, were they? That was a pound. Yeah. And this is, well, this we bought from the boot sale and paid 13 pounds for this bundle. Um, a lot of it was new of tags, this is. It's only two. Um, it's got a £10 price on it. Exactly. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot. I say I'm a lot all the time. I'm going to try 6 99 for that. <laughs> so that's just a little card again, yeah? Well, it's a jumper. Jumper. Yeah. What's the difference? Cardigan's got buttons or a zip or something. Is that the difference? Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm learning. Um, I'm not sure what this brand is. It's Angela Baby. I couldn't really find a lot on eBay, but it's really it's 
quite unusual. It's like um, really soft. It's really soft, and it's new with tags. Yeah, I don't think it's anything particularly special, but it was really different. It's like a, a cape almost, yeah, like a poncho type thing. And it just looked really nice, and it feels really nice. So I'm going to try ten pounds on that. And then this is another new with tags cardigan from George. Surprising that people pay for it. Mind you, I suppose if it's £12 new yeah. and it's still new, technically. It's really pretty, it's very summery. So that's Asda? Um, yeah, I'm going to try 8 99 on that. Okay. And then this is a new look dress, again new with tags. Um, this is a size 16. I really like this, I kind of wish it was in my size. <laughs> yeah. I um, mean, it was only 12 99 brand new, um, so I'm going to try, I'm going to go for about £10 with postage. So what's that style? Is that skater girl stuff? I'm going to, oh, I don't know. I'm going to say, well I would say it was a tea dress more than anything, but I'm going to actually list it, put grunge in the title. Because we were saying, weren't we, we could just imagine like Courtney Love with a pair of Doc Martens wearing something like that. So, mm. yeah. Or Katie Tunstall. Yeah. <laughs> She's not the first person I think of when I think of grunge, to be She's honest. She's not grunge, but that sort of stuff she... Anyway, I digress. But this is Stella Morgan. It's really pretty, nice oh, Stella Morgan. I thought it was yeah, Stella McCartney. I, I did when I first looked at it, but it's not. Stella Morgan. So is the brand just Stella, then? It does say Morgan on it. But, yeah, Stella. It's Stella London. Um, oh, Stella Morgan. I'm going to yeah. try 12 99 for this. Cool. And then Lipsy. Um, somebody in the chat actually asked about Lipsy. I've never had it before, so I thought I'd try it. I'm sure we did, ages and ages ago. Oh, we may have done. I remember a new sort of like fawn coloured top that was Lipsy with tags on. Possibly. So then. A long time ago. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I've yeah. seen the brand. But this is bold print. It's sheer material, which is really in at the moment. It's got lots of ruffles, which are in at the moment. Um, Fugly so, cells. Exactly. It's very sort of festival type thing, isn't it? I'm not sure I like that. That's a bit... The thing is, it's all... Yeah, a... I don't think I'd wear it. It's, it's all objective. It's a bit too no. bawdy for me. Subjective. I'm going to try £10 for that. What's the word? Subjective? Fashion is subjective? Yeah. Or, or object... objective. I never know the difference. <laughs> which way <which laughs> around is it? To me, that's pretty damn fugly. Yeah. Right. Ooh, damn. And again, this is just papaya. Um... What is it? It's, yeah, it's new with tags, although the tag's been ripped off, but you can see that it's still got its tag on it. It's size 14. I really yeah. like it, it's very sort of boho. Boho? Boho, yeah. Boho. Bohemian? Yeah. So, I'm going to try 7 99 for that. And all of this bundle we're showing you now was 13? Yeah, there was all 13. Was that the woman with the rail? Yeah. When I bought the PG tips thing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is East. East. This has been talked about quite a bit. Um, Caroline picks up East. It's not the nicest cardigan in the world. It's, it's quite pretty, but it's not like amazing. Uh, this goes down as fugly in my book again. <laughs> I'm going to try 12 99 for it. And then this, I think it's Mango. It's MNG, but I think that's Mango. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it is. Um, I'm saying arm again. <laughs> Good try, twelve ninety nine for that one as well. Okay. And then this is just a River Island top. It's really silky. I really like that actually. Um, yep. I'm gonna try seven ninety nine for that. All these prices that I'm quoting are obviously I always start really high. <laughs> so if it doesn't sell, I tend to drop a little bit. So seven ninety nine is really high for that. I give it well. I would start top end, so yeah. I look it up and I start a bit higher maybe than some people have been listing or just. So yeah. at that price point, is it, the people might question if it's worth your time and effort. Might do. 
whereas the, the fifty pound one clearly. Yeah, that's but if you're going to pick up is. a bundle and you've got something that's going to get you fifty pounds, yeah. And this, these are River Island, by the way. <laughs> River Island. It says boyfriend. That's the style. That's the style. Okay. They're River Island. And they've got. Um, they are. They're kind of dungarees. They're a bit strange. I'm guessing that you would cross them over. Jeans with the braces is what they are. Yeah, but you'd probably list them as dungarees. Anyway, these are good. Um, I'm going to list them for twenty pounds. Oh, cool. They've got like. Um, Elasticated ankles. They're all in size. I did offer them to. They make me think of Dexy's Midnight Runners. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, Ellen didn't like them, so I'm going to sell them. And as I say, twenty pounds. So how much were they? Because I think they were one pound one fifty. Were they? Oh, we finished the thirteen pound oh, yeah. bundle now then. Yeah, those those were extra. I can't remember, but I remember I I got it her down on price for them. I think she wanted like. Two two fifty, and she took one fifty on them. I think so. And this is the last thing. Um, it is a brand called Wall G. It was this one was actually sold in Phoenix. If you can see that. There you go. Well, it yeah. says Ben tools on there. Yeah, but it's Phoenix. And it says twenty seven pounds down to. 18. 18.50. Um, Topshop do wall G as well, apparently. Uh, I'm going to try 20 for that. So, uh, Oh, actually, it's not a dress. I keep thinking it's a dress, but it's not. It's a play suit. It's got little shorts. So, yeah. I paid. I actually paid £4 for that. Is it? I did. Wow. Well, because I'd seen the Fenix, and I knew that Fenix wasn't cheap, and I, then I saw it was £27 new. And it still had its tags, so cool. Yeah. Um, quickly, the Depeche Mode stuff I shared last night. Um, I have looked it up again, and I've kind of forgotten what I said. <laughs> I did write it down, and in the chaos that is my desk, it's kind of all vanished. Um, but yeah, this I picked all of these up for forty, and this live composition of sound, I'm going to shoot for sixty on that, um, and then the two. That's an unofficial. These are official. Um, this is the remix album and this is the video singles collection. I think I'm going to pair them up. Not really sure yet. If I pair them up, I might go for 30. Like so. Uh, the Erasure Club one. Couldn't find this edition. Lots of different Erasure Club ones all over eBay. Uh, this is a fan club issue. I think I'm going to go for 15 on that. And the Depeche Mode O2, probably shoot for 15 again, might go 20. Kind of tempted to keep that, but <laughs> not sure. So yeah, that was pretty good for 40 pounds. Not sure what that adds up to. Um, your Kath Kidston, we did show this. I'll quickly, in case you didn't see the live hangout. Andrew picked up some Kath Kidston bowls. It's not the right box for them. No. This is a tea set box. Okay, well you tell us about them and I'll get one out. Yeah, this is definitely my pickup of the day. I absolutely love Kath Kidston anyway. Um, but there's a set of four bowls. Let's show the bottom. Did you show the bottom? Kath Kidston. Is that upside down? Possibly, but you can yeah. see the stamp. So yeah, and what are you going to shoot for? I'm going to shoot for about £50 on those and I paid £6 for them. And like I said in the chat last night, I would have picked them up anyway at <laughs> six pounds. If they were worth nothing, I'd have picked them up and used them. Um, but I, I'm i on a Facebook group for Kath Kidston for like new and used items, like a sort of a fan group. Um, and I couldn't find that pattern anywhere. So I went on there and I asked and somebody immediately came back and told me that it was tea, I've forgotten it again. I did say on the chat last night though, so I think it was like tea rose print or something. Stripe. Tiro Stripe, that was it. <laughs> now while Andrew was picking up the big bundle that we just went through of clothes, I was I bought a load of board games off that guy and then uh, I was chatting to the woman and she had this little PG Tips monkey uh, egg cup and spoon. She had two actually but the other one had chips on his nose so I left that. Couldn't really find many Spoon's completed. really cute. No. Yeah, it's got a little figure on it. <laughs> Couldn't find many completed. What I'm going to do, I've got a load of mugs that we bought a big retail arbitrage bundle of. 
I might share the video. I made a video all about that at the time and then completely forgot to upload it, so I might upload that. So I'm probably gonna bundle a mug with it and then shoot for like 15 pounds or something. I looked at the cassettes like we shared last night. I got a stack of 15 of these at 10 pence each. Uh, I found a seller who's been getting six pounds with three pound shipping for two. So if I sell them all at that, it's about 40 quid's worth. Yeah. So happy days from one pound 50 into 40 quid. I may try bundling the whole lot for 40 and just seeing what happens. Yeah. Um, I picked up, when we went to the Hatfield one, I'd wandered around for like 20 minutes, half an hour and found this and nothing else basically. But this was quite nice. It's Fred Perry. Um, it does have yeah, this bottom Yeah, I haven't seen off. this. You told me you had it. Oh yeah. Brand new with tags, Fred Perry t-shirt. It's not a polo one. They go for silly mm. money sometimes. It's just a normal sort of, what do you call that, crew neck t-shirt. Uh, and originally wasn't masses, seventeen ninety nine, but I reckon I could get 15 out of it. Yeah. Or I might just go for the label price, because if, yeah. if it's not being made anymore. Happy days, and that was two pounds. Yeah, I was going to say something about that, actually. I was watching um, Fake Rachel's video, and it made me laugh when she said she was going to take the original price off and actually price it higher. Mm. And I do that myself, which was <laughs> which is why I laughed about it, because um, that particular design will be dis long discontinued. So the original price is kind of irrelevant. Yeah. It's um, how much somebody really wants that item or how much someone likes that item. So, yeah, it's probably worth doing sometimes. But then and some of your tagged stuff, you were going cheaper than original. Yeah, I don't always do it. Yeah. I sometimes do. Um, I picked up some more Roald Dahl books. I shared last week, I think, that I picked up some really nice vintage hardback Roald Dahl books. Um, None of them are first editions. If you find first edition Roald Dahl, you're onto a winner. We picked these up actually in a charity shop the other day, but I just wanted to share because it's really odd. Uh, really nice hardback ones. I've got three from the same set at 50 pence each. One is a bit odd. It's James and the Giant Peach, but the whole book has been bound upside down. And I knew this when I was buying it. And then I thought, oh, I'm just going to leave it because it's weird. But then I thought, maybe that's maybe that's rather unique and collectible. I don't know, just a bit of an oddity. Anyway, I'm probably going to bundle these with the other hardbacks. Um, this was quite cool, quite surprising really. It was in a box of DVDs and they were wanting 50p each. I saw this Xbox 360 game in there, just picked it up regardless. I didn't know that Left 4 Dead Game of the Year edition might be the particularly the game of the year one seems to be holding its value i'm going to go for 12 pounds on amazon on ebay you're looking around 10 so that was quite cool the microsoft operating system jaguar 10 um i'm going to go a bit higher than i suggested in the video i'm going to shoot for 20 with shipping on that after doing a bit more research so that was cool we picked up this guy this is Bagpuss, and I loved Bagpuss as a kid. And I might have shared this story before, but quickly, when I was a kid in the 70s, we had a black and white TV. And by the time I was about five or six, maybe, we upgraded to color. And when I saw that Bagpuss was pink, it freaked me out, because I thought he was gray and dark gray. <laughs> but yeah. There's a bag piss. And we didn't realize at the time, but he's one of those things you put in the microwave and you heat him up. He's got got beans in him and he's a microwave. Do you put the whole thing in the microwave? Yeah. Or does it, sometimes no, just, they have like a little pouch, don't they? No, you just shove the whole thing in. We had one before, didn't we? Like a thing you sit on your neck. Yeah, it's really soft. It feels like it hasn't been used. Yeah. I, d I couldn't find many that weren't new that had completed. So used, I don't know. No. I'll probably shoot for 10. If he doesn't sell, I'll be quite happy to keep him. So that's that. And on a cat theme, this was a fail. I've had these a number of times and they're generally worth picking up. I think I paid a pound for it. Yeah. I didn't go into great detail checking it. I opened it up and checked it had its, what it said it was inside it. Oh, a ka-ching. We've ka somewhere. Is that snowsuit that somebody offered on? Oh, a baby snowsuit we've sold for 35, which is Strange nice. Strange time of the year to sell snowsuits, but I've sold two in the last week. Yeah. <laughs> and a coat as well. 
<laughs> just go to show, sell your oh, clothes out of season. Oh. It has two trays in that you put your cat food in and then underneath you put like a ice pack to keep it cool and then you go away, you know, for the weekend or whatever. This cracks mm. in the bottom. So, I mean, it's still usable to be yeah. honest, but I wouldn't want to sell it like that and, you know, have the hassle. So I'll, I'll go take it back to the boot sale and, and get my pound back, I would imagine. It's annoying. Bit annoying, but yeah, they do sell. I wonder if you can get spare parts for them. It won't be worth filling around. I mean, I don't, don't know what these go for 10 to 15 maybe. It's, I doubt it's worth my effort. I'll just mm. I'll let somebody else have it for a pound and they'll be able to use it hopefully. Yeah. So that was a fail. Shame. Um, can you do that and I'll move on because I don't want this video to be epically long. I did share this last night took a chance on this elephant tuskers thing. I'm not going to get it out again. It's really fiddly to get in and out. It's like a large ornament with lots of elephants on and a mug. And yeah, I'm sticking with my, what I said last night, I'm going to shoot for 50 pounds on that with offers. I've seen a similar one go for 45. I don't know, I might not put offers. I might just sit and wait. It's such a nice thing. Um, yeah, so I'll just keep passing you I'll here. be the glamorous assistant. Yeah, yeah. Um, this wasn't great, sold these in the past, um, might just be a time of year thing. It's Horrible History's uh, blood curdling box of books. They look unused inside, I don't think they've been out of the box. I paid four on it I believe, wasn't it? They wanted five and I got it for four. Um, eBay at the moment they're only 15, it might be more of a Christmas market thing. Yeah. But I'll probably send it into Amazon anyway and get a bit more. So that was that. Um, oh, this was the other thing I picked up in the charity shop that I didn't share last night. Yeah. I haven't actually managed to look this up. This is the brand. Let us know if you've sold this before or if it's a good one. Brico or Brico. It's a cycling jersey, sleeveless, and it's got its little pockets here to put your drinks or your Mars bar. Or your, your pasty. It'd be a very melted Mars bar. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was on a pound rail in the, in the charity shop. Um, what else have I brought in? We have stuff absolutely everywhere. Our house is filling up at the minute and then we've got issues. Oh, so some of the board games I looked up last, I shared last night, had a chance to look up. Quickly wh whiz through. This, I took a punt on. <coughs> took a punt on from a guy who was, um, he just pulled up. Bear with. Bear with. <laughs> and uh, he, I spotted a ghost house. No, ghost castle. <laughs> Which I, I said, Andrew, quick, go and grab that. Cause I was doing a deal on another table. And then when we got there, he said, are you interested in board games? And I basically helped him unload his van. Uh, he Tons had- Tons of them, didn't he? Yeah. So I, I grabbed a load of, this one I didn't know anything about. They were all a pound and it's not great. I think I'll be lucky to get 10 pounds out of it on a good day. Uh, Dragster, I loved this as a kid, but it's not great. I think I said last night, I didn't think it was. eBay about 10, but I may well send it to Amazon uh, and shoot for 20 at Christmas. I just want to say about board games, board games can be very seasonal um, and a lot of board games aren't worth the time and effort. So you do have to be selective and bear in mind this time of year they may be slow to sell, they may not sell at all. So just putting that out there. This, I love this, had this exact one as a kid, downfall. Currently on eBay people are selling it as low as 10 or lower, even this version. At Christmas you can get a lot more and on Amazon I think I've got as high as 30 on this version. So I will probably put a lot of these away and forget about them. Certainly this one, eBay currently, you'd be lucky to get a tenner out of it. Um, FBA at Christmas, I sold a few last year and they went fine. So that will just be put away. This is lovely. I haven't had a chance to check all the content. So these prices are if they're complete. Um, this is Waddington's Buccaneer. It was filthy last night. I've since cleaned it. Um, yeah, if complete, eBay, not amazing currently, about £20, um, but I will go to Amazon with this and shoot for about 40 I think. 
so that's that 1970s Buccaneer. Uh, this was another one that I just took a punt on because I've never seen it and it looked cool. Uh, exploration. eBay really hit and miss. I would shoot for 15 but it's not in great condition. Look at that. It's had some dodgy repairs. Um, but there is a listing on Amazon and prices seem higher so I may do that but looking at condition mm. bit of a dodgy one don't know I might just bundle it with the Buccaneer but if I'm sending the Buccaneer to Amazon that won't work options who knows uh, Lion King yeah haven't checked it again but eBay I would shoot for 20 pounds which is what I got last time I think 15 or 20 can't remember there's a listing for that on Amazon but the photo is awful and the rank is just off the scale, so bleh. Mousetrap, 90s, is it 90s version? I think it's 96 version or so. It's not the 80s one. Bear with. <laughs> what does it say? I don't know. Anyway, I think it's a 96 one. Uh, eBay, they're all over the place, and right now people are selling it as low as a tenner. Um, I would probably send this to Amazon at Christmas and go way higher than that if it's complete again. And the Ghost Castle, I don't think this is going to be complete. I had a quick look around inside it. There's there's bits from Operation in there. There's, there's stuff that shouldn't be in there. It's a bit of a mess. So the chances of this being complete are slim to none. Shame. Yeah, yeah it's, got, it's got Operation cards in it and just random bits of rubbish. So I would imagine it's not complete. So I may be parting this one out. Uh, the box was knackered anyway, uh, a lot of damage. But currently uh, eBay, if it was complete, 30 to 40 would be what I'd go for. And Amazon, I think I sold the last one of these on Amazon for 50, 50 yeah, maybe at Christmas, or maybe higher. So yeah, that gives you a little bit more of an idea on the board games. Um, I also picked up another one of these. I won't get it out of the box, you should be able to see. It's a cat crane. Well, let me just show you that bit. Um, but unfortunately, this isn't complete. Um, there's enough there to sell it. The last one I got £15 for fairly quick. You had fun playing with that, didn't you? The wrecking ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's it going? I can't see a wrecking ball these days without thinking of Miley Cyrus. You gonna sing? No, but you were. <laughs> I was singing last night. Um, so yeah, that, to be honest, borderline fail. I paid two, I'll probably get about 12 out of it. Which is, so not terrible, but yeah. And then we had a bit of a day of seeing Enid Blyton yeah. books everywhere. I always say there's a theme to every boot, boot sale. You see the same thing everywhere you go. Everybody has it on their stall. And um, vintage Enid Blyton books was the theme of this weekend's yeah. food sale. We both had these as kids. Yeah. I certainly did. My sister was a voracious reader and she read tons of these. We had them lined up, these ones, the ones with the white like border pictures all over our house. Her bedroom had shelves full of them. Um, so I thought I'd take a punt and see how they go in bundles, see if they're worth selling individually. So from one store we picked up most of these. Um, they wanted 50p each and I wasn't prepared to do that so I said if you go 25p I'll take a big pile and they were more than happy to do that. So I think it was all of these at 25p each. Most of them are 70s and 80s ones. A couple yeah. are these hardbacks which I briefly looked up last night and there's really not much in them. Certainly not individually. Um, lovely, lovely things. Mm. But there's Bimbo and Topsy <laughs> for you. <laughs> so I'm thinking bundling is the way. I tried to do a bit of research on Enid Blyton bundles and it was just wildly all over the place. Couldn't really gauge anything so it would be a case of make up a price and wait. And then I got a few more modern ones off different stools. These are rather nice. Modern versions with the old illustrations. Nice hardback ones, so I'll bundle those up. And then a few more inner blighting bits as well in here. But then these were cool. I paid a pound for the lot. And they're all Doctor Who. Um, really nice sort of 
80s, 80s, 70s, mm. don't know. Haven't done a lot of research. John but Baker and John Pertwee. Yeah, this is the guy that I remember as a kid. Yeah. He was the kind of hide behind the sofa doctor when I was... He was my favourite doctor. Yeah. I must have been five or six when he was doctor, maybe, a bit older. Yeah. So yeah, Tom Baker ones, there he is again. That's so, the first doctor, isn't it? Maybe I don't. Yeah, I don't I remember. So. I'm not. You're more of a Doctor Who fan than me. So yeah, one for Margaret if you're watching Doctor Who stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I need to do a bit more research. There may be a couple in there that are worth doing on their own. If not, as an instant bundle, and from a pound, who knows? So yeah, that's about all we've got with us to share, isn't it? I think so. I did grab a couple of these. Where's the yeah. other one gone? Just two anyway. You can't go to a boot sale without grabbing a Nerf gun, really. Yeah, <laughs> I saw loads of Nerf, really highly priced the weekend. Uh, a couple of strong arms, paid a pound each. I'd look to get probably 15 to 20 pound for the pair. Uh, and there you go, that'll do. Yeah. We could go on all day, but we, could. But we shall. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we kind of put a bit of a vlog and a haul together, a mishmash of our day and our weekend. Um, so if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. And yeah, don't know, what else do we need to say? It's nice having <laughs> someone else to round up a video. <laughs> Anything else to say? It's your vlog, you can, okay. you can finish it whenever you like. <laughs> yeah, we'll wrap it up there. Um, we'll see you soon. So thanks for watching. Bye. Bye guys.